Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Android 4.4 KitKat OS on your Windows PC. So for that you need uh, two uh, things. One is the virtual machine and another is the Android 4.4 KitKat ISO file. So I will show you first of all how you can uh, install the virtual machine. For this I'm using VMware Player virtual machine there is other virtual machine called virtual box you can either use vmware player or virtual box uh, to install android 4.4 kitkat so in this video I'm, I'm going to show you how to install vmware player so just write in your search uh, box vmware player download and the first link you will find here is download my vmware okay and in here what you want to do is you need to go down and search for the vmware player which is this one and you just need to download it and install it in your pc i will also sh leave a link below in uh, the description so that uh, you can see the video I have made earlier and how I have installed VMware player in my Windows PC. So just see below in the description and you will be able to see how I have installed VMware player in my PC. Now the second thing you need is the KitKat 4.4 ISO file. Okay, So this also I will leave a link in the description from where you can download the KitKat Android KitKat 4.4 ISO file. So just see in the description the link for this ISO file. Okay. So once you have both of them and you have already installed VMware Player in your Windows PC, I will just fire up my VMware Player. This is my VMware Player. I will fire up my VMware Player. And now I will start installing KitKat 4.4 in my Windows PC. So in here, I will go to create a new virtual machine. And in here, I will choose installer disk image file, which is ISO file. And browse for your recently downloaded ISO file which you have uh, downloaded from the link I have provided you. So just download this uh, or just select this Android 4.4 KitKat ISO file and click open. And now click next. And you can give the name to your uh, virtual machine. So I will give my virtual machine name as KitKat it's itself. and this is the location where your uh, OS will be installed. So if you want to change this uh, location, you can just browse for the folder and select the folder. So I will leave this as default and I will click next. And this is the maximum dis disk size you want to provide to your operating system. So by default it's 20 GB, but for now, for example, I am going to provide it 10 GB for now and I will leave this as default split virtual machine to multiple files and I will click next and just see your uh, configurations or the details which you have uh, selected and if you want to customize your hardware for your Android KitKat 4.4 OS you can go here also customize hardware and check uh, if you want to change the hardware specification so right now the memory I'm using is by default to 56 MB I can increase it to 512 MB and processor I'm using right now is 1 but you can choose up to 16 processor depending upon your device right and once you are done with the hardware configuration just close it and click finish and now your 
installation of Android Cricket Cat will start, right? And this will show this message. I will say remind me later. And in here you have four options. I want to choose the fourth option, which is installation. Install Android x86 to hard disk. And I will press enter. And in here, what I'm going to do is I will select create modify partition, which is first option, and I will click OK when press enter. And you will be able to see here two or three options right now. So in here I will go to the option for uh, creating a new space or a disk. So I will just hit my side uh, left and right arrow keys and I will select this new here. So just select this new by right and left arrow keys and press enter. And in here just select primary. So by default primary is selected and click enter. And your memory size is it will display the memory you have selected which is 10 GB. So that's okay for now. So I will hit enter once again. And now I will go to the option called write. So you can see here the write option W R I T E and I will press enter here. And this will ask me if you really want to create a partition. Uh, so I will say yes. So you need to type in yes, Y E S, in order to give the command. So just write yes and press enter. And it will start writing partition table to the disk. Okay, so now you have already created this partition. You need to quit now so just select the option called quit and press enter and now you have you can see there is an option called sda1 linux vmware virtual1 so you need to select this sda1 linux and press ok and in here you need to choose ext3 which is extension 3 as your file system format and press enter and in here just once again you need to confirm your uh, selections and press enter and it will start formatting partition and once again it will ask for do you want to install bootloader grub I will say yes and press enter and once again I will say yes and press enter now it will extract the files and write it So I will wait for the completion and now you can see your Android installation is successful. Just select reboot from here. Just select this reboot option by up down arrow key and press enter or ok. And now your system will reboot. Okay. So it will take some seconds and now your Android 4.4 KitKat is starting now. So it will take some seconds to start. You can see Android symbol here. And now your Android 4.4 KitKat OS has started. 
for the first time it will ask for the language so select your language and click this triangle button so click here triangle and it will take some second to configure your language and then it will present you the second option and now it will show some configuration options here for now i am just uh, i will just uh, select skip in order to make this video faster but if you have time just search for the select your wi-fi and do all the configuration so i'm for now i will just click skip and i will say skip anyway and you need to give your google account so for now i will say no and i will say not now but if you want really want to use uh, this os uh, on your system just create an account give your google account uh, login and password and then just give all the credential of yours and i will say not now and i will click next button and this is the time european standard time in my system i will say yes this is okay and i will say next and you need to give your first name and last name so i will say programming knowledge and i will select this triangle button for next okay so this message will show that you agree that your tablet may be may receive an install update from google so if you agree just click next and now your os is ready to use welcome make your make make yourself a home so just click ok and this message just click ok once again and your new kitkat 4.4 android os is ready to use you can click this option to see the menu here and let's see what os version we have if we have we have really 4.4 kitkat or not so just go to the settings here and in here go to about tablet and you will be able to see what are the specification of your tablet and in here you will also see android version 4.4.2 which is our os version for kitkat android right you can just go back and now you are ready to use your newly installed kitkat 4.4 OS. You can just for testing, I, I will just click YouTube here to test whether internet is properly working on my system or not. And yes, internet is working. So you, I can see different option or different video option in my system. So in this way, you can install Android 4.4 KitKat operating system in your windows pc i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now